sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are, Lizzie. But this is the Astral Express, and everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. I'm Pop Hom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. Se echaron desodorante. Más atractivo. 
activo y es para Poppy Dalia y la Same Outfit. Amigos, 
Ya me estás viendo el televisor.
bet it. Sanctuary is but a vision. Time to twirl. Stay right there while I give you a present. Check out this awesome move. Better up. It's gonna hurt. now or crash later? <laughs> to me. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's make it quick. Huh. You must be honored to meet me. Sufficient! Can't run! 
be broken! There's inspiration in every glance and every breeze. Here already? Hmm. I was just engaging in pleasantries. How can I help? Oh? Why are you interested in her room? Pom-Pom remembers Kimiko saying that you saved her. Mmm, very brave. Very foolhardy. But that is what a trailblazer should be like. March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running around, so she might not be there. Don Hong's room? Oh, you mean the archives. Uh, he's just sort of living in there, I guess. I can't be bothered getting him out. March 7th's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. You recognize this as well? Uh, Himako always likes to bring back weird junk and try to fix it. That also got modified a bit. Pom Pom still needs to prepare for the Express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom will always have my eyes on you. Himiko likes using the phonograph a lot. She says it can play melodies from the past. Welt likes collecting these jet black discs. It seems like they could be antiques. He'd be very happy if you could bring a few back.
There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. Hmm? Who's there? I learned to sense incoming visitors after people kept barging in so frequently. Can I help you? Feel free. This is open to everyone on the Express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the Express. I enter the collected data into the Archive's databank. I try to catalog the people and places the Express encounters, and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information already stored in the databank. Do give it a go. The door is unlocked. Should I go in? Just one look should be fine, right? Make a choice I won't regret. Reach the future. So much has happened in such a short time.
This is your first time experiencing the warp jump, so a little discomfort is unavoidable. If you're really anxious about it, I can stay here and have a chat with you. About everyone on the Express? Uh, who would you like to know about? <laughs> She's the owner of the Express. We joke around calling Pom Pom the conductor, but everyone knows Himiko is the boss. It all started with her encounter with the Astral Express, and they haven't been apart since then. She's extremely passionate, like a, a burning sun. However, she remains mysterious most of the time. Once in a while, you feel that she's burning herself out trying to accomplish her dream. Only someone like her is worthy of the Astral Express. I think Himiko's vision of her whole life revolves around uh, a very important dream. To be honest, I don't know when Pom Pom appeared. Uh, I think it was before I came to the Express. No, wait, maybe it was after. Pom Pom is like the spirit of the Astral Express. Whenever anyone on the Express needs help, they will appear immediately. It would be ill-advised to underestimate them. Pom Pom is terrifying when they get angry. Yes, it's terrifying. long enough but at least everyone's here now he won't be here so just leave him be oh yeah take these a tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger think of it as an investment in your future growth Hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March, always running around the express like a headless chicken. Pom Pom's going to start the final preparations for the jump. There you are! Wait, this is your first trip! So that should be double the excitement, right? Uh, you're just like Mr. Yang. Always worrying about things that haven't even happened yet. Young people should be energetic. Here, let's do some relaxation exercises. The first step is to grab a hold of the root cause of your anxiety. Well, it is a little abstract, but basically you just need to pinpoint what's bothering you. The second step is to focus all your anxiety on that point. Seems like you're a natural. It's not easy to reach this level of enlightenment. 
Now for step three. Yank out that anxiety and cast it away with all your might. Really? I've never been able to do it successfully myself. What does it feel like? Like all your worries have been swept away? This is your first time experiencing if you're really anxious about every... What's wrong? You look like you were about to say something. Oh, I think I know what you're going to ask. You've come to the right person. After being rescued from the ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Himeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. I don't remember a thing. Who I am, where I'm from, my name like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A <laughs> way to get everyone down, huh? It's fine. I was the one who brought it up. Uh, <laughs> cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about ten minutes. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself. And falls over every time. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you! Uh, we're jumping in five minutes. You can have something to drink when it's over. But I'm thirsty now. Uh, nice. Oh, pass 
passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two, one. Millennia? Is this what Eurelo 6 has become? Uh-huh. So, that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven-day stopover time extended indefinitely. <laughs> <laughs>